Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. So today's video is going to be finally a testing out new makeup video. I have not done one of these in a really long time and there's a lot of products that I wanna test out and then there's a couple products that I've used once or twice before that I've yet to talk with you guys about. So I'm gonna be using a couple of those in here as well. But yeah, anyways, I have like quite a bit that I wanna try out. Like the new Too Faced Primed and Poreless looks awesome. They came out with like a new powder too. So there's just a lot in here that I'm very, very stoked about getting into. But anyways, if you guys are brand new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you love seeing these types of videos, and give me any other like video recommendations that you wanna see down below. I know I've had a lot of requests for mommy videos and vlogs, so those are definitely gonna be coming back. I think I'm actually gonna film a day in the life vlog this week. So you guys will see that up on my Life of Maddie channel, so definitely subscribe to that if you have not already. I'll be bringing more videos back over there. But let's just go ahead and get into this really quickly. Um, I'm gonna try out this new sunscreen that I got from First Aid Beauty. I was really excited to try this out. It's a weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide. It has an SPF of 30. I use a sunscreen every single day, even if I know I'm not going out and about. The one that I've been using every single day has been the Murad Environmental Shield one right here. This one is really good. I've been loving it. It's not breaking me out or anything. So that's one's been awesome, but I'm very excited to try this one out. And does this thing have a tint to it? I don't know. We're gonna find out if it does or not. It does have a tint, oh my God. This reminds me of the SkinCeuticals one. And the SkinCeuticals one is amazing. I'm actually gonna use a brush to put this in. I love the SkinCeuticals one. My, I even got my mother-in-law hooked on it because they have one that has a tint to it and they have one that doesn't. And it's such a good sunscreen too. So anyways, I'm just gonna rub that in. Ooh, that rubs in nicely. And it's like kind of like a, a very thin, lightweight sunscreen. It's nice that it has a tint, but I don't think it adds, oh, it does add a tiny bit of coverage. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on really quickly. All right, so that was not bad at all. It is on, it is definitely nice and thin and lightweight. Like it on, it's, you know what, weightless. <laughs> it literally feels like I had to put nothing on my skin. That is crazy. It really reminds me of the SkinCeutical one, but the SkinCeutical one actually feels a little bit more hydrating on the skin. This one just feels like there's like nothing on there. It's dermatologist tested and fragrance free, so I really like that. And it says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or swimming. So this is not water resistant, just as a heads up. But it feels good. If you guys notice my skin is a, I feel like it's a little discolored in areas, but that's because of the St. Marie's tanning serum. I love that stuff. I've been using it a ton and it just wears off a little weird. So that's like the only down part, but you don't notice if you put some foundation on over. I need some lip balm desperately right now. And this is the one I bought from the Sephora sale. I have yet to talk about it. It's from Summer Fridays. So you just take it like so. It's really, really hydrating. It's actually really, really nice. It reminds me a lot of the Tatcha one, but in different packaging. But the one thing I do notice is it doesn't last as long on the lips as the Tatcha one. So I've been using this quite a bit lately, as you guys can see. I love it, but I do notice it does not last as long as that Tatcha one. That Tatcha one is still like my favorite. For primers, we're gonna test out this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pore Banishing Blurring Face Primer. I really hope this does not break me out. I really, really hope. So we're gonna try this baby out, it just looks like so. I feel like they've had this once before. Did they just repackage it or reformulate? It's, oh, plus advanced formula. I feel like they reformulated it. So let's feel, ooh, I can feel my texture right here. I've got a little bit of texture going on over on this side. I need to exfoliate. Ooh, it feels good. It's very silky, focus it basically right there and then also into the T-zone up here. Basically, where I'm gonna avoid my chin. The reason why is because my chin is very sensitive. But we'll play it right up here. So take a look at what it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That like blurs. You know what? Let me zoom you guys in. Now we're all up close and personal. <laughs> up into these pores that are pretty much vanished right now, which are awesome. The stuff like really, really blurs out your pores. Wow. I like it. So sweet. I will keep you guys updated on if this breaks me out at all, if I get any more texture bumps over here or anything like that, but crossing fingers, it works out well for me. And then I'm actually gonna go in with this, not, this another First Aid Beauty product that I had so many people 
ask for me to talk about this and try it out and let them know or use it in a video. But this is the First Aid Beauty Niacinamide uh, Brightening Cream. So it says after cleansing, gently apply to the entire orbital eye area. So it looks like this, which is really interesting. It reminds me a lot of the Becca one, but the Becca one is very thick. This actually is a little bit more like liquidy. So I'm really excited to try this out. Ooh. It feels really good already. Oh my God, look at just how. Wow, that's moisturizing. That is so moisturizing. Oh my goodness. Oh, by the way, I always get questions asked and I've answered it pretty frequently already. Everyone's asked me how I still have lash extensions. It's because I have a really close family member filling them for me, which I've been very lucky about. And it's been a really big help for her too during these times. So really close family member is doing them. So don't worry about it, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit more. I'm gonna put some on the other side. This is really, really nice. Like really, really nice. That just like really just added a lot of hydration underneath my eyes. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. That is definitely different than the Becca one. The Becca one has a little bit more pigmentation and it's using for more color correction. This one is more for a more brightening and illuminating effect. I feel like this one, you can just definitely see the illumination that it brought underneath my eyes. I think it's really nice and the formula, it's just so smooth. So that's a really nice product. So I can't wait to keep using that and seeing if I see like any difference underneath my eyes. I really should have done one and then didn't do the other, but oh well. Um, before we go into my foundation, I'm gonna go into my Glow Skin Beauty. This is my concealer. What I do is I grab just this little It Cosmetics brush. I dab a little bit in there and then I just kind of go over some areas that I have some acne scars in just from some extra coverage, but you guys can see just how well just a little bit of this concealer goes. It literally, you could just put some of this concealer on, it blends into the skin that looks like second skin and you're good, like you don't need anything else. I love this concealer. I will always, always rave about it and I will always use it. It's just my favorite. And I mainly use this one on my acne scars. I love doing it just to even out my skin tone. So there's that. For underneath the eyes, what I've been using for the last few days has been the Bobbi Brown one, this eye corrector. It's the shade Light Bisque. They sent it to me and I've actually really, really been enjoying this. It's nice, it's really thick. So you only need a little bit and you just warm it up with your finger and then you just press it underneath the eye. So I'll kind of show you guys like a before and after, but it's really nice. And I actually kind of even bring it down here by my nose because my nose gets really red. I think that happens the majority of women, but it just does a really good job. So here's one eye and then here's the other. So you could see how much more, see how this one looks like it's a little bit more concaved in. This one looks a little bit more even, or that's what I see on the camera. So I really, really like it. So I've been using this one ever since I opened it up in PR and I've been enjoying it. I've actually really been enjoying the eye cream too. The eye cream is really just like, it's like a thick putty. So I actually really like it for underneath makeup and I feel like it's really smoothed out my fine lines and wrinkles that are underneath my eyes, which is crazy. I've been using it morning and night, but definitely I feel like the morning time is the best one for that because I think it goes beautifully underneath makeup. All right, so. We're all covered and we're ready for our foundation. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using is the one that I got from Sephora, my Sephora haul when I shopped the sale, and that is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. The color I'm going in with is 20N Light Neutral. I used this yesterday for the first time and I actually really enjoyed it. It wore so nicely throughout the day. It honestly did not break up on me at all. And actually it's very, I feel like it's pretty lightweight, but I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put some on right now. I'm gonna use the same brush. It's basically like a tinted moisturizer, but it has decent amount of coverage. And I always, again, go in with my concealer first and I top it off just to kind of help give a little bit more extra coverage. But I just love the way that it makes my skin look. It's just like second skin. And I like the fact that it's not super, super like dewy. It literally looks just like second skin. I feel like it has like a satin finish, like a very natural finish. So I've actually been liking it. I used it yesterday, like I said, and I really liked the way that it wore throughout the day. 
So it'd be nice to find a cheaper option <laughs> to wear more frequently than my Coke and Doe because my Coke and Doe one is so expensive and I love that one so much, but it's again, so expensive. But I definitely feel like the Coke and Doe one has better coverage than this. This is just a true titted moisturizer. I feel like I put a little bit too much on my forehead. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck just because I wanna even out my neck a little bit. I feel like I put a little bit much on my neck. Okay, here we go. Cause I run that serum, that tanning serum down and again, it wears off. So I just need to even everything out a little bit. I feel like it is a little bit light for my skin right now. If I had a fresh coat of that tanning serum on, it would be perfect, but I've didn't, what was it? I used it like what, two, I think two to three days ago. So it's really starting to wear off now because I wash my face every morning and night. It stays on pretty well, but it definitely, I mean, wears off just like any other tanner does. Okay, so here it is on my skin. You guys can see just how it gives a gorgeous natural finish. I really like it. I've been really enjoying it. I like the way that it wore yesterday. So I will keep you guys updated in my favorites video when I do like my little speed reviews for everything I've been trying for the month. Definitely check those out if you have not already. I've been doing them every single month and it's just a quick way for me to let you guys know what works and what doesn't work of what I'm getting in PR. But I really like the way that this looks. It's nice and lightweight. It lets your skin look like skin and it helps even out your skin too. So you definitely need to add a little bit of concealer here and there if you have any acne scars or, or like breakouts or anything like that. But I like the way that it makes, it lets, like honestly, even if you're dry or normal, you don't even have to set this. Like you could just be done with this if you just want, you know, just an even base and go out and do your stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I really like it. That's a thumbs up for me. I will keep you guys updated on it. Um, next up, I was gonna go into this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, but this is going to be too light. You can see that my foundation is already a little bit too light for my body right now. I should, probably should have got a shade darker than this, but I'm instead gonna go into a different concealer that I already know works. Instead, I'm gonna go into this one from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade 1N. This is their Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. This is a really nice concealer. I really like this one. So I'm just going to put just a light portion in here, take my beauty blender, and just press it in. All right, so concealer is on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Butter Biscuit Cream Bronzer. I really love this bronzer, you guys. I did an Instagram IGTV video using these products. A lot of people wanted to see them used in action and I really, really love it. So I think these are beautiful and easy to use and perfect for the spring and the summertime. And if you are a huge fan of cream products, I definitely say checking these out. I really like them. So I'm just going to add some dimension back into my skin right now. I also really like using these with the Fenty Beauty brush. This is the 125 face one. So these two together are great. All right, so here's the bronzer. As you guys can see, it just brings a just natural kind of depth to the face. So I, like that's like what this video really should be is like a whole natural makeup look, but I actually wanna play with quite a bit of color on my eyes because I haven't done that in a hot minute and a lot of people are like, please play with color. So I'm like, okay, so we will be playing a little bit with color, we'll see where that goes. But I love these bronzers. I think they're bomb and they're so good. Next, we're gonna do blush and this is a different color from the Ilia Color Haze. This is their multi matte pigments. You can use them for your lips, you can use them for your eyes, like anything you want to, but I love them for blush and lips. This color is called Temptation. I really want Wake Me Up, but it was sold out when I bought this one. I was gonna buy both of them. It was at the very end of the Sephora sale, like I waited till the last day and this came back in stock, but the other one didn't and I was really bummed, but we're gonna use this color. Another color I love is Before Today. I think that one's like my favorite, but this one actually just 
is a really nice, like brings warmth to the skin. So let me show you guys what it looks like. You see that? Oh my gosh, I love it. And I love using it with this brush from Farah. It's, um, I think it's Farah Beauty. I got it in one of my Ipsy bags and I really like it. Oh, I might've put on a little bit too much. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. So when I accidentally put too much on, I just go in with the beauty blender and then I go in with the brush and I saved it. Yes. <laughs> That's one thing I like about creams. I can, I can really save them. Like, so, look at that. It just brings a pretty flush to the cheeks. I love it. You can even add a little bit on your nose. Is it like, what are those called? Like those e-girls like on TikTok where they do it on their nose up here? I, I don't know if I could ever do that, but just blend it in like so, and then go back over with the beauty blender. There we go. Look how pretty that looks. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Oh, I love cream products and these Ilia pigments are so good. I love them. I wanted to use this one um, because I really wanted to use a cream blush today. And I was like, I've used before today so much. I need to use a different shade. And I just got this one in the mail, like, or I just finally opened it up. It was in my package pile over there. And I love it. I think it's such a pretty color. So those are done. Now it's time to kind of set the skin really quickly. So we're going to go into the new powder right here from Too Faced. It's the Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring Mattifying Face Powder. I'm going to use this to set my face. So this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. Open it up. And then there is the powder. So it's a white powder. I like the skin like I like the um, the ones that have like a little bit of like a cream powder like a cream color powder, because I feel like sometimes the whites can be a little bit too stark, like stark white, but they also have a puff in here. But I'm actually gonna use a brush, and I'm gonna use this one. This is one of my favorite brushes for underneath the eyes. I'm just gonna pop it underneath here, and then, oh. Oh. Oh, that looks gross. Oh. Ah. Oh. No, no. It literally just aged me 10 years underneath my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it like broke up my makeup underneath here. <sighs> and it looks really, really dry. It looks so dry. I'm gonna try just pressing it. Oh no. Oh. No. No, no, nope, 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 nope. That is not a win. That is not, that's abort mission. That ages you like 10 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so drying underneath my eyes. I don't know if it like this didn't go with like my, my concealer. I don't know. I honestly think that product is too drying. Even just feeling it, it's just really, I don't know. That's not my favorite. I'm sorry, Too Faced. I like the, I like the primer. That was nice, like the immediate results that I saw from that, but that powder I think is just too drying. But also, it could have totally came down to my skin type because my skin type is combination. I am dry and I am slightly oily depending on how well balanced my skin is. So it might be that my skin is just too dry for that. But for me, that's a no-go. I'm sorry, Too Faced, but that was a no-go for me. But I like the primer. So always gotta end with a positive. That's what I tell myself. Always end with a positive. And I like the primer, but that not so much. Um, we're gonna use a different powder. We're gonna use the Catrice one. I forgot that we got this one in the P PR package. So let me just pop that open. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna take that same brush and we're gonna pop it on. Oh yeah, this is much better. Oh, that just like, this one like smoothed everything out. That other one just kind of made my eyes look really crepey and like dry underneath it, like the Sahara Desert. But this one, so it's definitely that powder. It's definitely that powder. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and top it over the other eye, see if we can salvage it. I don't think it's, I don't think my camera and my lens is good enough for you guys to see the dryness underneath there, but I can see it up close on my mirror. I honestly don't really need to even set my skin that much with this um, tinted moisturizer because it has such a beautiful finish to it, but I'm doing it anyways. Okay. So that looks really good. Everything looks very mattified right now. All right, so this one right here is a little messy just as a heads up. 
the packaging is a little stubborn, but I think I also kind of lightened up my foundation a little bit too much with that lighter powder, but oh well. We're gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer next. I'm actually just gonna go in with this one, my Marc Jacobs. All right, so I'm just warming up my face right now with my Marc Jacobs bronzer just because I feel like my face just got a little too light with that powder and I need to match my body a little bit better. <laughs> there, that's a little bit better there just to bronze up the skin. All right, so for blush that I'm just gonna kind of top onto the cheeks, I always kind of top a little bit of powder on top of my cream products. I'm gonna go into this one from Real Her. It's the Ultimate Glow Getter. It's a cheek trio, and I believe I got this from an Ipsy bag, and I really like the blush in it. I think it's really pretty. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here and just press it up to the cheeks like so. You could totally just stop at the cream products and just do like a light translucent setting powder over everything if you wanna set it or leave it as is, depending on your skin type. I just kinda go with whatever I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll leave it, sometimes I'll add a, a powder on top, but yeah, so I just kinda, I go with what my mood is. Anyways, we're gonna go into the classic Becca Champagne Pop right now. They sent this to me in PR and I have not used this highlighter in Gosh, I don't even know how long. It's been forever. So we're gonna pop some on right now. God, it's so pretty. It's such a beautiful highlighter. Just look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Just gonna kind of press it into the skin. I always do this with my beauty blender. It kind of just kind of presses everything in and it's really nice. Okay, so for eyes, we're gonna go into Life's a Drag palette. This is the one I got in my BoxyCharm box. It's the one from Manny MUA. It's from his Lunar Beauty line. And I'm very, very excited, you guys. I think we're gonna go into the teal for our pop of color and then, or maybe even the blue. I don't know. I was thinking like maybe doing something bronzy on top and then doing the pop of color underneath. I think will be really pretty. Um, and a little bit more on the safe side for me, but still fun. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do bronze on the top and then the pop of color on the bottom. So let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, we're gonna go into this beautiful cool tone brown. It's called Hunty and oh my goodness. I wish I had just had this in a single cause this is something I'd probably pop into my crease like every single day. But what I'm gonna do with it is I'm actually gonna pop it all over the lid and then blend it up into the crease just to kind of create my base for what I wanna do. Okay, so now that I have my base down, I also dragged it out a little bit more just kind of give my eyes that like almond look. I really wanna do a video where I follow someone's like foxy eye tutorial because I know Roxette did one, I know Chris and Dominique did one, and I kind of just wanna follow them and see like can I get the same results if I go step by step from what they've done. Let me know if you guys would wanna see that video because I just think it'd be fun to like go step by step, see if their tricks and stuff like work for me and if I get the same results because I have very round eyes and both of them already have very almond eyes, so I don't know. But I watched Roxette's and I really liked hers, so I kind of wanna try it out. But um, yeah, anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you guys be interested in that. But anyways, we're gonna go into Legendary and this one is actually just like a golden, just a golden bronze shade, really pretty. And I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. And I feel like adding that brown in underneath is really pretty because I actually like more cooler tone shimmer shades in this like this is a little bit warm for me so i feel like it kind of just helps give me that more neutral brown underneath that is gorgeous oh my gosh i love that all right so i'm gonna leave it as is right now i don't know if i'm gonna go in with a darker brown on the outer corner i want to see what it's gonna look like when i add in that pop of color down below so we're gonna go into kiki i was thinking doing the blue but i kind of want to I don't know, we're gonna try out this one first and if I wanna add in the blue and maybe create some depth or something like that, then I will, but we're gonna start with Kiki. I'm just kinda play with this, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna see how this goes. But I'm just going to work this down here. This little Morphe brush is really good. It's the E36, but it's just a tiny little brush and it makes it really easy to do eyeshadow near lash lines and it blends it out really nicely. There's that, I kinda wish it was like a little bit more of a pop to it to be honest i don't know i don't know i just like had a different look for it so i'm gonna do the other eye and then i'm gonna kind of just play all right so here that is i think that's actually pretty and subtle but we're gonna add in some liner i'm actually gonna do this makeup geek one that i have it's their full spectrum liner and this is in the shade mint so we're just gonna go into this i'm gonna pop this on the waterline and then i actually think i'm gonna drag it down a little bit in here like so and then I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna blend it out yeah because I wanted something a little bit more vibrant 
Oh, that's pretty. Okay, you see how that just kind of elevated it? I hope it translates well. Like I'm looking at it on my monitor and it looks good. So I hope it translates well in footage <laughs> and it looks good in person, but I just, I don't know. But anyway, so let's go. All right, so that is what I was expecting. Like I wanted a little bit more pigmentation and a little bit more like pop. So I'm actually gonna go into champagne pop <laughs> and I'm going to pop this in. Oh my God, how many times can I say pop? Anyways, I'm going to place this in my inner corner just to brighten that up a bit. We're gonna take a little bit and we're gonna put it underneath that brow bone. Just kind of help pop that up, lift that up, pop. See, there I go again with the pop. Oh my gosh. I forgot how good these eyeliners are. They're so pigmented and they just glide right on and they're easy to maneuver. So definitely check these out. I'll look for these and I'll have them linked down below if they're not, I don't know why, but I'm getting a feeling that it's like discontinued, but I, I know that she redid everything and she's now in Target, but I don't know. I will try to hunt for them and I will link them down below. I hope they're still available, but they're so, so good. But anyways, I'm going to place some mascara on. This is the Thrive Cosmetics, the liquid lash, lash extension one. It's my favorite one. It's because it's a tube mascara. It doesn't, right now with allergies, my eyes are watering a ton and it doesn't smudge or anything. And it's really easy to get off. It's like one of the best mascaras hands down. Um, but I'm just gonna place this. All right, so for the lips, we're gonna go into this kind of coral color right here. This is from Jordana, and this is their Draw the Line Lip Liner. And this shade is in Rose Crush. So I'm gonna pop this on. Boom. And I like the kind of the coral. Like, I feel like this is very like spring fun vibes, like lots of color. We're gonna go into this lip glow right now from Pixie Beauty. It just looks like this. I'm just gonna pop this on just to add a little bit of like a shine to the finish. Stuff smells really good. <laughs> it smells really good. This is really pretty. This color right here from Pixie Beauty, I think I forgot to mention it, it is in Fuller, but it's just like a really pretty pop of color. There we go. I played with color. Loving the spring vibe right now from this look. This is so pretty and I really love the lip combination. That Giordana or Giordana, I don't know how you say it, but that lip liner, so nice, they're pigmented, glides right on, beautiful. And then also the Pixie Lip Glow on top. I'm just like, yes, that combination is a thumbs up, something that I would totally keep wearing for every single day. It's very moisturizing. And then I just like the pops of color. So anyways, this was a fun video. I have not tested out new makeup or done a video like this in a while. Anyways, the only thing that really disappointed me was the Too Faced powder. This just was really, really drying on me. I think maybe, maybe if you're really oily, maybe it'll be different for you. But for me, it made me really look 10 times more dry underneath my eyes. It just did not work for me. So that was a pass for me, but everything else I actually really, really liked. And I'll keep you updated on everything in my favorites video at the end of the month, where I kind of do a recap of everything I've been trying out. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you are all doing well. I love you and I will see you guys in my Saturday's video.